this is really a very simple tip, but it's one um, that I found a lot of people don't know, and it has to do with concatenate. And I take for granted um, how easy this is. And what actually started it was I had a, a friend who um, asked me, he said, oh, I'm doing these Excel tips. I have to do, these, I have to do uh, once a month present these Excel tips. And last week someone showed concatenate, and I just can't think of anything better than that. Um, so I showed him the ampersand, the shorthand concatenate, and that blew his mind. He said, oh, this is going to be great. I can one-up one up her. So <laughs> actually, that's what I said. I said, you can one-up that, that last person who did it. Um, but so we all know the regular way to concatenate. You, type, you can type it out. It's kind of hard to spell, but C-O-N-C-A-T-E-N-A-T-E. -E -E. So that's concatenate. What that allows you to do is join two different values from two different cells together. And this is a very common function, uh, one that's very commonly used. But as I've come to find out, a lot of people don't know about the shorthand way to do that. And that's using the ampersand. And that's what Rick actually uh, presciently um, and, for, and foreshadowed to at the start of the episode. So to do that, and I like this way a lot better than the concatenate function because it's more natural. So what I would do is I'd select uh, cell A2, and then I'd use the ampersand. And I'd select cell B2, and as you see, that actually gives the exact same result. Now, which one should you use? I personally like using the shorthand because it makes a lot more sense. We're joining something, and then we have an operator that allows us to join them. And I think it actually makes more sense than the concatenate function itself. Both work, um, but this one, you know, easier to read, easier to type. So that is my tip. Concatenate, you can use the shorthand ampersand. 